Hello everyone, what's going on? I am AC and welcome to part 4 of my build craft tutorial which is going to be on this right here, which is the filler. I know I said I'd be doing two per episode now, but um, I think I'm just going to put the filler in on its own. It's, uh, that's quite annoying. It's not the most complicated machine in the world, but I mean it's got a fair few different recipes that you can use, so I'm just going to give it its own video. That's really, really annoying. Whatever, yeah. It's going to be on the filler. So if I run over here, I've got all the different sort of combinations set up. I'm going to start with this one this one here, which is here. Basically, I've shown you how... Well, I've set this out already. It's, uh, I think it's like 1, 2... I think it's 10 by 10, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Yeah, it's 10 by 10, and then it's 10 down as well. If you uh, If you see over there, where the landmark isn't in the way, it goes down as well. I just put a landmark underneath this, so it's 10 by 10 by 10. Um, you set that up and then you right click on the landmark, and obviously this happens. Um, give you a quick demonstration. I don't want to be doing that. If you do that, right click on a landmark that's like, I mean, you can put a fourth down and then right click one of them, but you know, you're saving yourself a landmark if you just click the one that's sort of in between everything else. Then if you used to do one down that was still in line with all these, but like underneath the ground, and then right click on that, it would make a box like I've got here. We can do it up as well, so if I uh, put these up here, Ooh, there you go, makes a bit of a box. So that's how landmarks work, in case you didn't know. Um, so that's all I've done here, I've just set up a landmark, it's 10 by 10 by 10 it is raining and any eye is messed up again. Run. so yeah, it's 10 by 10 by 10, so plunk your filler down. There you go. Obviously, it gets rid of all the landmarks, and it makes this coloured box a sort of black and uh, black and yellow striped box. Pick up your landmarks again. There will be one down there. But I'm just going to leave it. Um, and obviously, it needs buildcraft power. Uh, in this case, I'm using a combustion engine, but you can run it off one steam engine. But obviously, a combustion engine's faster. I'm just using it for the sake of, um, well, obviously, making the video not last forever. So, if I put these in, it's just glass, if I put it in the shape up here, well basically, I'll, I'll explain this. The filler has this interface. This is where you put your shape in for what you want the filler to do. So as you can see, I filled it with glass in this one, it's a stair formation. I mean, I got into what they all mean, but this is where you put, uh, basically, what you want to do. So if I put in all the glass at this, it's a clearing recipe. So basically, it'll clear out all, ev well, everything in this box. Which means that I don't need this for filling resources. When you're using a building sort of thing, like when I get over to this one over here, I'm going to fill in this entire box. This is where you put your filling resources. So obviously it's going to fill that up with sand because I've got sand in it. But anyway, I'll get on with this. So just power your engine up. And as you can see, it goes green on the top once it's sort of saying, yeah, that's, that's okay, I know what I'm doing. So power your engine up and it will start doing its business. It should be. Maybe it starts from the bottom and comes up. Hmm. Well then. Oh, no, there we go. Oh, oh, is that what I did? Oh, God, I don't know. Well, it should be working. Oh, yeah, there we go. If I jump down here. Oh. It starts at the bottom, apparently. And, yeah, it basically just drops all of the items. So, I mean, you can pick them up after. It doesn't pick them up for you or anything. But uh, it just drops them straight where they sort of got destroyed, basically. Yeah, nice. Thorncraft chest there. Yeah, as you can see, it sort of gets rid of it. Just drops it straight on the floor. Need to pick it all up, and that's uh well that's the clear recipe. But... Oh come on! Oh, I've had enough of everything. I hate those little thorn crash, but yeah, thorn crash slimes are really annoying. 
But um, yeah, as you can see, it's making a couple of holes here from where obviously sand has gravity, so it fall, it's fallen down. But we'll come back to that in a minute once it's all sort of, well, gone. In the meantime, I'll show you this, this recipe. Uh, basically, you either use glass or bricks with the filler. So if you fill it up with bricks, it will fill. Fill it up with glass, it will clear it. Fill it up with bricks, it will fill it back up, basically. Why does this keep happening? That's really annoying. Uh, yeah, I'll just get rid of all this. There we go. So yeah, fill it up with bricks, it will fill it. So, if I start it up, and this is where your filling materials come into play. If you put, see, as you, as you can see, it's taking the materials from here, and it's placing them down, down there. And it'll basically just fill in your box. I made the box the same way I did with that one over there. Um, I just sort of pre-made it before, obviously you don't want to see me doing it over and over again. As you can see it's just filling in. Easy enough, I think I might need more sand, probably. Doesn't matter where you put it in this box either. Put it in the bottom, the top or whatever, it'll just fill it up. Yeah, there you go, it's already done a layer, so I'm starting on the second one. Obviously if you use more combustion engines it will be faster, but I've just used one. See how this is getting on. And as well, um, I, don't, I don't know if I mentioned before, but it was green on the top once it, it, it sort of said that everything was right. It had got its box and everything it went green on top. If it isn't and there's a problem, it'll be red like that. Obviously the problem here is it's got no power, it's got no box, I mean, just loads. But, um, ooh. oh well. But yeah, it'll go green on top, and then once it's finished, it'll go red on top again. Jeez, oh, I'm getting lag. It's going a lot faster. But I'm going to stop these because I think that's what's lagging me out. But, um, yeah, so that's the... Ooh. The fill and the clear recipes for the filler. I can stop that one as well. Is that sorted me out? Uh, not that much. Uh, right, which one's this? Right, this is the stairs recipe. Basically, within your box, it will make one by one stairs. So it will put a full sort of... Well, I'll, I'll just show you. But it will basically make stairs for you. So start that going. And I've used wood for this. But obviously you need to use a 3D box for this as well. You can't use like a 2D just a square because it will just fill in like a square for you like this is now. Yeah, there you go. As you can see, if I walk around... Oh no, it's starting from the back. Okay. It will basically miss out the next layer on this. So it makes stairs. See? There you go. There's one step. And it'll come across here. There's another step. Another step, another, and you're at the top. So you see, it just makes stairs for you. So, um, as you can see, again, when I, what I said, when it's finished, it goes red on top. Why am I getting such bad lag? This is ridiculous. Look, five, six, that's, that's insane. Why is this happening to me? Oh, I know why because of this. And let me pick all this crap up. There we go. See, looking better already. Okay, that was helpful. There we go. Anyway, on to the next one. So, what's this? Okay, this is, uh, I don't actually know what it's called, I can't remember. It's like a box. I think it might be called something like that. Basically, it makes a box for you with floor and walls and roof. Obviously, if you wanted your floor to be like the floor, you just put all the landmarks one down and your, your filler one down. But I haven't for this one, so it's making the floor there. I'll just get rid of all this while it's 
we'll wait for that and it will fill in your walls and your floor and then a roof so it basically makes you a house if you, well if she was going to use it as a house anyway made a pretty small house in this case but and made of wool wool isn't probably the best material to be using for a house I mean if you accidentally start a fire or something it's it's all gonna go tits up but yeah you can see it's missing out the middle basically and there's the last wall and then I'll start putting a roof on trapped in here as well. There you go, it's done and we're trapped in a box. But yeah, that's well that's what the box one does, it just makes a box. I mean they're all pretty self explanatory if you know the name of them. Uh right, where's the next one there? Uh what was this? Right, the flattener. Basically three glass, three bricks. What it'll do is basically what these two both do but on one level so it's only a 2d thing like this so basically it will clear out to a level of this so anything that's above it such as this it will get rid of and anything that's below it such as this big thing here this wire included that in it it will fill so if I do that as you can see it's starting to fill this part and then once it fills it, it will clear out this and it will basically just flatten the entire land wherever you put it. So if you put like a 64 by 64 uh, square over a mountain, it would completely flatten the mountain. Make sure I've got enough sand. I think I have. It'll be fine. Oh. So I'll just wait for this to come up to this level and then we'll see it clear out all this get rid of that and the filler as well will it will fill in uh, water oh it filled in the hole so there you go it's just um, just getting rid of everything now but yeah the filler will fill in water but it won't fill in lava or oil but the way to get around that is to use gravel as like a filling material or sand anything that affected by gravity and then basically it'll place it above it and it'll fall down and then obviously it'll place it above it again until it's all filled and that will get rid of the uh, lava or oil so that's a sort of cheating way around it there you go it's flattened the entire area got rid of all this and it brought this up to the same level so that's what the uh, what the flattener does. And then there's one more, which is this one. Now I haven't actually tested this, I won't lie, but if you put four bricks in like this, it makes the pyramid, uh, the pyramid template. If I start this up, it should just make a pyramid. Um, but I really haven't tested this one, so I don't know how this is going to go. So we'll just... Stay and watch. All right, so it's going to do like that. Okay, then. so it's doing like the stairs, but in but on all four sides, basically. Okay, that's pretty cool. So if you want a huge pyramid for whatever reason, I mean you could make a massive one with a filler. Don't know what you'd need a massive pyramid for. I suppose it'd look pretty cool. There you go, you've got a pyramid. That's... I suppose I should have made it out of sandstone, I could have made a nice house or something. Still. Oh and as well, once it's finished and turned red, to so say it's finished. If you delete another block, even if it's still getting power, like I just did there, it uh, it won't fill the block back in. But yeah, that was pretty cool actually, I'm going to have to start using that for things, I like that. Uh, but yeah, that was the filler, 
As you can see, we've still got, if I move the filler out of there, we've still got another three. Classing that as one, so. That's a video in itself. <laughs> and we've still got the template, uh, the blueprint library, the uh, template table, and the builder. Um, I don't know which one I'll do next. I suppose I'll do the builder next, because that sort of leads on to these two. Um, the builder and the template table, and then probably the blueprint, blueprint library. I'll just sort of slip in at the end. There's not much, well, there isn't that much to it. Um, then I'll do a separate video for these. So, thank you for watching part four of uh, my buildcraft tutorials. Um, make sure to check out the other ones if you haven't already, and check out any future ones as well that I will be putting out. Um, I think that's it. So, yeah, thanks for watching. I've been AC, and I will see you for the next one.